On Valguero, in the underwater ocean, there are many hidden base spots. Now, I'm gonna show you where five of them are. Hey, before the video starts, I'm gonna need you to bring some gas. Yes, gasoline. This channel, Kaiser from Crete, is a fabricator, and I farmed everything but gas. And that gas is your subscription. Are we clear on that? Now, if you get the gas by subscribing, video starts. Now, this is the spot number one. So, on this spot, with the official settings, you can only place two vacuum chambers, a little crafting area, and some structures to store some of your stuff. Let me show you around, and then I will show you the official one. So this spot is behind the crystals, it's really really hidden and good to store a lot of stuff. I had this place for months, actually I still have this spot, it did not get raided to this day to right now. And also this base is that hidden, the mega alliance Moin couldn't find it even though it's next to their teleporter. This spot is that good. Before we move to the next spot, let me show you the official version. I managed to fit all these structures on official small tribes. We got Semitic, Fabricator, Vault, Transmitter, Cryo Fridge. You can also fit even more structures. You can even hatch eggs here. This is on the server 82, so if you wanna check what is left here, you're welcome to do it. I don't know what is left here though, but I don't mean it's get raided, the structures are still here, I just don't know what I left here. Alright, if you try to build here on unofficial, you can place almost everything, in the forge, vaults, transmitters, it's a good base spot for unofficial. For official, it's just for storing your good stuff. Alright, let's go to the second spot. I didn't build on this spot on official, but it's a good spot to hide some loot. Also, it has a good potential to expand. You can build a huge base in front of that crack. All right, let's move to the third spot. So on this spot, I have built a base here, but I couldn't fit the Indie Forge. It was green, but for some reason it did not fit. So placing replicator, Indie Forge and even transmitter could be a problem for you. On this spot, building right is really difficult, but for unofficial, you can build a really good base here. For the official, you can build a decent storage, a decent crafting area, but nothing major.
So now, before we move to the fourth base spot, let me show you what I had here on official small drives. So this is a lot poorer than the single player version. Clip is terrible, but it's still something. This space is not here anymore. It got wiped few weeks ago, but my vacuum chambers, my transmitter, and even my tech Jenny is still here. If you wanna come and check this out, you can do it. I don't know why you would want that though. All right, let's move to the next spot. Now, this is the fourth base spot. So, this one is a little different because it looks like it's in the mesh, but it's not. It just looks like it. I didn't build on the spot on official. I choose the fifth spot. I'm gonna show you that at last. I thought this will be more difficult to defend. That's why I didn't build a base here. But this is definitely not in the mesh. You can go in and out easily. It's just a visual bug. Since it's at the ceiling, it could be actually defendable. It's up to you. It's a decent spot. It has a decent space keep this spot in your mind if you need it Anyway, let's move to the last and fifth spot. Alright, this spot was my longest survived base on official small tribes. I think you can even survive here more than I did. If you play your politics right, if you are willing to do that, go ahead. Now, let's see the whole thing. There are so many things to say about this base, but that's gonna be in the other videos.
So let's just move around the base and then you can see it better. Alright, that is all. Thank you for watching, dear watchers. See you at the next video.